but tell me this. It is truly a phenomenon. And what, when you first wrote it, it was not. It had to build and grow. You know, I first heard about it in 1996. I was doing a show with Madonna, and Madonna told me this was her favorite book. And I don't think I'd even started the book club then, but so if it was Madonna's favorite book, and she was going on and on about it, as did Pharrell just this past year, go on and on about it. So I thought, well, I've got to read this book that, that changed Madonna's life. So then I passed it along to everybody I know. Everybody I know passed it along to everybody they know and their children. So it's that kind of, that's what made it a phenomenon, is it not? Absolutely. Absolutely. Just what do we call word of mouth? Word of Nothing mouth. Nothing else. Because when Madonna talked about the book, yeah. I said, oh, the book is going to sell. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. And then Bill Clinton was photographed with the book. Yeah. And I said, Bill oh, Clinton himself, yes. Now the book is going to sell. Nothing happened. And then Will Smith uh, talked about the book. Uh, and, and a lot of people talk, celebrities, you no, know, Julia Roberts. I, I, I. And then one day I opened the New York Times and the book was there. And there are no explanation for this. I think that... It reached the critical mass. Critical mass. Thanks to the reader, mm -hmm. the famous, but also the anonymous readers. Huh? And so I... Because there are not enough famous readers to make it a uh, bestseller on the New York Times for over 300 weeks. Yeah. There are not enough famous no, no, people no, no, to no, do no, that. No.